hello to each and everybody yes good morning good afternoon good evening whatever the case may be i do hope all of you are staying safe are staying healthy and most importantly are enjoying life to the fullest no matter what life throws at us you know it's always very important to remain you know positive to remain hopeful and yes let's treat each other's like the brothers and sisters that we are let's spread love let's spread positivity let's say no to hate please say all let's all say no to negativity no to war no to any sort of uh, like negative energy for real let's instead spread positivity love kindness towards the people around us and hopefully by doing such things we might just achieve world peace yes yeah okay speaking of all things beautiful and grand and everything in between guys i am here to do one of your requests so you guys have been telling me that there are a lot of like more like um what's this more like up-to-date more innovative um more advanced like metros in your part of the world and here i am okay doing such and i do hope that i do have the correct video this time around okay this is the american in moscow showing the best metro in the world so guys this is uploaded via wild siberia and let's do show the original uploader some love and go to their official account which i will be linking on the description box below as well as the link of this particular video um let's i uh, you know i encourage each and everybody to also watch this video on the original uploader's account yes all right so guys without much delay are you ready for this um, American in Moscow showing the best metro in the world okay so I do hope I get to see those like um, uh, high technology ones uh, on this particular video but regardless you know that we are going to enjoy this nonetheless so okay guys are you ready for this one Uno, dos, tres. let's play this come on yeah Let's check out the train station because the trains just keep going, making noise, and I don't want it more in, any more interruptions. I'm losing my mind making this video. There's people <laughs> running around, and uh, it's really hard to film during rush hour. All right, let's continue. All right. I respect you. This so, yeah. station called uh, Prospect Mira. It's on Brian La Brown Line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so they have uh, electric plugs on the new ones right there. Ooh. On every chair, you can actually connect nice. your phone it's very and convenient. charge up while you're going. And this is on the brown line. These are new trains. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Now, one I really don't understand is, yeah, sure, they touch this woman or this man. No, it's a woman's knee. But I don't know why they... Um, we do have this um, the same thing on the other video, right? It's just that it's the, it's the dog that they do touch. So... This is the first time that we, we, I am going to see somebody who's touching this particular woman. And please do let me know who's this person if you guys know. So that to put context as to why they do touch this particular um, sculpture. Alright, I don't know. You tell me. I love, I Does love your country have a metro system? So cool. I guarantee everything. you it is not as efficient as this one. Today we're in the Moscow metro system. You're going to go see it. We're going to show you the best stations you can visit. And it's basically the cheapest I museum in the you. entire That's country. So now the reason why I'm telling you that, that this is a museum, it's because about 44 of their train stations are known as World Cultural Heritage Sites. And today we're here I, at the Mayakovskaya uh, train station. I'm going to show sense. you the ceilings of this place. Now it it's absolutely sense. magnificent. This is like very much. I can tell as early as now. Just truly, truly, that's what I get. There are no two identical stations in the Moscow subway system. And it is not only the ceilings that are beautiful here, but these beautiful arches and pillars. Now, yeah, more yeah, than 7 million people transit well. and use the metro system daily. Just think about that, guys. It is 99% uh -huh. effective, right? There's, it's always on time. And now it's time for us kudos, to show you the to, next to the station. people behind it and to, to all of you guys. 
Wow, this is, that's what I'm saying. It's so beautiful, it's so picturesque. Like, oh, come on. This is one of those, of those moments when I say stop and smell the roses. Because indeed, that is right. look at I this. Just let that train go by. That's right, I just let that train go by because these trains are so accurate that it is estimated that every 90 seconds a new train will pass and so all I have to do is just wait a little bit and I can get on the next one. Nice! The estimation can be seen or the time can be shown on this clock behind me guys. So when you want to know when the next train is going to arrive, simply walk to the edge and look down where the train will come from and then you'll see this clock and then it'll give you a rough estimation as to when it'll arrive. Usually it's on point, sometimes they come very early. Let's just wait. Oh my gosh. Unlike other countries in the world, once you're in the Moscow metro system where you pay 54 rubles, you can transfer lines and go all over the city. We were on the green line, now we're going to go on another train station on the blue line. Let's go. And it's just the same payment? Wow. Wow. Oh, there's are like the same people earlier. I'm curious as to what the song is, man. Look how, how clean, yeah, somebody pointed it out on like the comment section of the last video I did of like similar to this, is that it's very, very clean and yes indeed, look at that. I've gone to a few couple of metros uh, from, from, from different parts of the world and this is far most the cleanest. I am so excited to bring you to this train station. Uh, what is it called, Ksenia? Because I cannot pronounce it. Alright, that's <laughs> where we are. And this train station is special because it has a lot of statues. And there's something very strange that the Moscovites do. They go around touching them. We're going to show you the statues first. Then we're going to see if we can catch anybody touching them. And then last, I want to find and interview somebody who touches them and ask them why they do it. Uh, this is that. That's not very much um, touch, if I may say. But that sculptures are so very, very well done. It's so intricate. Oh, there you go. There, there's somebody touching that. Извините, извините, можно у вас спросить? Да. А вы э, курочку потрогали, это традиция какая-то такая? Это, я, например, говорю, когда тушок золотой гребешок, я надеюсь, что они мне материально прибыль какая-то будет. Это то есть каждая статуя какой-то да, особый, особый смысл имеет? Собачка, значит, друг, чтобы с друзьями oh. все было хорошо, да. This woman told me uh, every statue has meaning and for her this statue uh, means money. Mm. She touched it for money. Oh nice, it's nice to know that. So, Wow. A good example of the statues that are untouched uh, is this one because it is very, very dark. You can see even here how dark it is on his hand. Well, we saw that lady touch the rooster and a lot of people, I guess, want a lot of money because <laughs> the rooster is absolutely touch. soft at, uh, at its neck area. Now on this one, the yeah, people touch the, the dog nose and over here, they touch this guy's knee and they touch this guy's shoe. So every statue means different things and different people touch different parts. 
Now, one I really don't understand is, yeah, sure, they touch this woman or this man. No, it's this woman's <laughs> knee, but I don't know why they touch this. Oh, my God, yes. I, I, I am so curious as well, guys. You tell us. You tell us. Come on. Now, that lady also said that if you touch this baby's uh, little foot, it means that you're kind of asking for uh, grandchildren. Oh. So you might see a lot of babushkas really, really rubbing his little foot here. Uh, no idea why they touched this guy's legs, but it's now time to move on to the oh, next nice. train station. Oh my station. gosh, this is so very well. Um, um, the entrances amazing. to these stations are absolutely glorious. Tell and this me, is why I'm telling it. you, if you pay for one ticket, you're basically going into the world's cheapest museum. Now I get at it. Least now I get it. In the city of Moscow. Now I get it. It totally makes a lot of sense for real, man. The Moscow Metro System is also known as the People's Palace. It was inaugurated in 1935. The Kivskaya train station was built in honor of the friendship between the Russians and the Ukrainians. Now, on the sides of the pillars, you get to see artwork that embodies that for the people, by the people, right? I think we've seen and we're going to show you some of the artwork. Well. And just remember, this is the People's Palace. You get to see artwork all around. No exceptions. It is a beautiful station. The Despite mosaic the behind me is my favorite. Russia, uh, anybody who knows Moscow, that I like Rybalka knows that I love catching shuka, and this one's got a shuka on it. Showing the friendship between Ukraine and Russia. Okay, there's like overlapping of like voices there. I mean, come on, let's restore this. Let's restore this very beautiful like moment. This, you know, friendship. This, ah, uh, come on. If things are like are less complicated, you know. Would you believe it if I told you that this is one of the deepest metros in the world? We are 83 meters below the ground. Oh, wow. Did you know no. that? If you didn't know that, well, now you know. Yeah. A lot of these stations are very, very unique, like I told you. By the way, I don't know the pronunciation of this station. What is it? Park Pobede. What's that? <laughs> Sorry. Leave a comment down below if you're from Moscow and let us know what your favorite train station is. Or if you're not from Moscow, let us know which one's been your favorite up to now. An interesting thing about this sta uh, station is that it has the deepest escalators in the city. We're going to go right up them and then we're going to come back down uh, just to waste a little bit of time <laughs> so you don't have to. But we'll be crazy. we just want to experience it, these long waits. I've never actually been on these long, long ones in my life, but since we're here in Rome, might as well do it. In Moscow, sorry. <laughs> That's why I was like, what, Rome? What, what, what are you saying? Oh wow, oh wow, that is really long indeed, man. Imagine this, uh, your daily routine to, to your job is using these escalators. Now we've been on this escalator for about 30 seconds. Um, I'm guessing this one takes about like a minute or two minutes. That's two minutes of your life going up and two minutes of your life going down. Add that up and you've wasted hours of oh, your no, life but still it's in not Moscow a waste. on the escalator. It's still not a waste. Imagine if you just walk, and oh. walk going going that direction. I mean, literally, it could take a lot you of time. can uh, choose to start walking up if you're going up or start choosing to walk down, but it doesn't make it any faster. I mean, of course it makes it faster, but it just feels eternal. We're not walking because we want to see what it feels like. Um, and I'm telling you right now, it's the stairway to heaven <laughs> because it's long. All right, I'm not there yet, guys. I'm still waiting, still waiting. Oh, hello. Well, that took us a long, long time. Now it's time to do it all over again because we have to go to the next train station, but it's actually down there. <laughs> I mean, I, I just love So we have to I do that whole video. ride all over again, but on the way down. Come on, let, let's experience what you've been experiencing. I mean, come on. If I said that uh, the way up was the stairway to heaven, what is the oh, way no, down? It's still, no, no, no. It's nice and bright. So, it's still a stairway to heaven. No worries. <laughs> We're on the wrong side, actually. So you can see that guy started walking down. You can do that. And yeah, it has to be on side, the left yes. side, like the fast lane. We'll catch up to you on the next station. Well, uh, this is 126 meters long of escalator. That's pretty crazy. I said we would be back at the next station, but we're still on the escalator. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. 
office. By the way, also, if you're going to fall and the escalators, we have uh, people here watching on the camera and they actually have the power to stop the escalator so you don't have to roll too far down. But if you fall down this one, you're still going to roll pretty damn far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna, we might be able to see something interesting. When two trains arrive at the same time, if the people are in a rush, they run across, and nobody's in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, it happened at another station where they were in a rush, and you could see people running across the yeah, train. I, I, can, I can just imagine. I guess this one, nobody's in a rush. Bye. <laughs> the Slavyansky Boulevard station is known for its appearance to uh, kind of emulate the Paris Metro. Oh. Um, just being here, I can tell you, it has been the windiest metro station uh, since we started this excursion. But let me know what you think. If you have any friends in Paris or if you've been to, been Paris, to Paris, does this give you the, uh, no, the vibes from that area? It's actually, it doesn't. I mean, just the signage, yeah, but no. <laughs> I don't know, man. Luckily, it doesn't give me that advice. Maybe I just was in the wrong metro. I don't know. It was just like a short ride anyway, so yeah. This is far way more cleaner, you know, and more well lit, you know what I'm saying? I love how everybody is so very like so casual no everybody's not in a hurry it's like you know taking their time and that's how it should be i mean come on let's not let's not make it all about just i don't know <laughs> sometimes i do say things and then i am thinking of like wait sometimes we do we really need to be in a hurry and i'm like okay whatever <laughs> Now the brown li the brown line has uh, more modern trains, and the trains don't make as much noise as the green oh, line. Oh. And inside, they're definitely way more modern. Nice, I see. So it's the brown line that's way more modern compared to like the green line. Now, now I know a little bit. You know, it's this is a good info. All right, guys. So they have uh, electric plugs on the new ones. Uh, we've seen right this, there. Right? On every chair, you could actually connect your phone and charge up while you're going. And this is on the brown line. These are new trains. Now, sometimes when the trains arrive at the same time, you get to see people running across, running across, running across. Look at that. Because they have to get on the other train. You know, guys, this train station is dedicated to the Belarusian government and this, the Russian right? government's friendship. This is a uh, Belaruskaya train station. Uh, again, it was really cool to see people running across. Oh, On the ceiling of this particular train Every station, station does you have get a to story see to other tell. types I mean, of amazing. mosaics. Uh, we saw on the other station that they were dedicated to uh, Ukraine and these are dedicated to obviously to the Belarusian people. The architecture itself is I amazing. I know, that's what I've been saying every, and every, every, every it is single well time. well decorated. Like, yes, I, I don't get tired. Novo Slavotskaya. Let's check out the train <laughs> station because the trains just keep going, making noise, and I don't want it more in, any more interruptions. I'm losing my mind making this video. There's people <laughs> running around and uh, it's really hard to film during rush hour. All right? Let's continue. Oh my gosh. I mean, yeah, very well appreciated. I mean, it paid off. The video is so very great. And I know, I know the struggle in filming and like miss, miss, miss saying things, miss doing things and stuff like that. So I feel you, man. But then of course, salute to a very, very well made video.
on the new trains, there's also a screen that'll tell you where you are, whereas the older trains just have a little light, and the really, really old ones don't have anything oh, at all. Oh, oh, nice to know. Wow. This uh, train station called uh, Prospect Mira. Prospect it's Mira. on Brian La Brown Line. <laughs> Yeah, I think we've seen this uh, particular um, station, yeah. But you notice, guys, notice every single station is so insanely clean. Like, not a single, like, you know, sort of wrapper or paper or anything to that extent. Like, wow. And look at the inside as well. This one. Sign. Who's I this guy in the retired, end? Like, Can anybody down. take a guess? Of course. Of course it's Lenin. Oh, really? I've tried to say the name of this station. Kamskamolskaya, Kamskamolskaya. <laughs> I'm not sure. Skaya, okay, guys. I'm going to show you what it looks like. You have to see it for yourself. Come visit Moscow. Roll the tapes. Guys, I do hope I'd be able to do so. Like before I perish for real. And just like this train that's leaving, it's time for us to leave the tunnels of Moscow. Uh, it has been a pleasure, but it has been a long, long day for us. We've actually stayed about five to six hours underground. We've been underground for so long. I don't know what's going up. Uh, the world could have ended up there. Um, oh, no. Thank you so much. We make other type of content. You can watch this video or that video, and we'll see you on the thank next you. one. Very we well are finally done. getting out to breathe real air. <laughs> well, we started the excursion of the subway when there was light, and now there it's is raining rain. <laughs> and it's dark. That'll tell you how long you can spend under there in yeah, that I'm labyrinth. Sh I'm that is pre I'm pretty sure the you subways guys did enjoy of Moscow. You did experience as well. I love how very well done this video is, of course. Sh guys, shout out to Wild Siberia for a very well done video. And I just don't know um, what else to say. One thing for sure is I am do hoping and wishing that someday, one day, I'd be able to go to your country before I even, like, you know, get super old. But then at the same time, I do enjoy watching your videos and, you know, um, experiencing a little bit it being just in the video. But still, it feels that, that I get to know your country a little bit better. And I cannot run out of good things to say towards the all of you guys. So yes, thank you. And please do continuously make your request. If you want me to react to any other videos as well, please do tell me. Write it down in the comment section below. And with that, I hope you did enjoy this as much as I did. And I do hope to see you all next time. Until then, please do take care, all right? Spasiba!